a little bit loud. About there, because we want to be able to hear the dialogue. So it's been ages since I played Wildflowers. Um, obviously, all of December was... Ooh, straight to bed. Uh, all of December was taken up with Animal Crossing, if you followed along with that. And then since then, I've been playing a lot of Palia. Palia? Palia? Um, I did make a little video about that, just letting you know kind of why I liked it so much. Um, but because I'd started this series, I didn't really feel like I could play it without you. My friend Laura told me that there's a new person. Time. Oh, yes. Time for bed. There's a new person, apparently, joining us in Wildflowers. Uh, I think tomorrow, the 31st of January, I think she said it was, so I thought I'd probably get back on it. Oh good, you're up. The mayor's called a town meeting this morning. We should get down there and see what he's making a fuss about this time. Do you think it's some kind of trouble? Ah, uh, I really hope not, but I guess we'll see. Lead the way, Grandma. Follow me. Okay, so when last we left them, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, if I'm going to follow you, Grandma, you're going to have to pick up the pace a little. Uh, I believe we were kind of being inducted into this... I'll, I'll go ahead. Uh, inducted in this, like, witchcraft coven situation. So I think we've got some things to do. Like I say, it's been a minute. I think we've got some, like, tasks. But obviously... Word has spread in the town. Settle down, everyone. Settle down. I've brought you together to discuss a very important matter. There have been very strange goings on in our beloved town of Fairhaven. There is a force at work in our community, and I don't know who's responsible, but whoever they are, they don't have Fairhaven's best interests at heart. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Me neither. I think we're gonna like this guy. Strange lights in the forest at night. Yeah and folks in robes and masks wandering around after sunset yes yes good you know exactly what i'm talking about wait i'm sure there's a rational explanation for all this no matter the we cause love her. we must ensure our town doesn't become a home for roustabouts and unsavory types i ask all of you to keep a sharp eye out for signs of mischief and if you see anything, report it to me. Or me, if you prefer. I'd hate for anyone in Fairhaven to feel fearful. Well, I never. Mayor Otto, soft on business. <laughs> soft in the head is more like it. Him and his fancy britches wife standing up there and casting judgment on others. Uh-oh. You're even madder than I thought. <laughs> He can't just tell people to spy on their neighbors, to be so afraid that they distrust everyone around them. Maybe we could cast a goodwill spell to make everyone be nice to each other? I wish it were that simple. But just because you can solve a problem with magic doesn't mean you should. Thomas could use some help on his farm. I know he's got an order of beans due, and he doesn't have enough plots going to make it in time. He's too proud to ask for help, though. <laughs> Here, take these seeds. They should be enough to make the order. Are these magic beans? <laughs> no, heavens no. But if you've got the means to give him a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Okay, we're gonna go and grow the beans. We immediately need to speak to her. <laughs> Grandma, I've been, um, I've been thinking about my childhood memories of your garden. Just- Are you sure? That's quite a bit of work. <sighs> what would we need? I was trigger happy. <laughs> well, for it to be enough to feed us and turn a profit, you'd need to build a bunch more garden beds. That means keeping a compost bin so you can get a whole lot of good soil to fill them. Okay, and so I, you'll I'm guessing to we're going to kind of bring the farm to back to life. Okay. Wait, was there something where we can run? Was there a button for that? I don't think there is, you know. All right, so let's see where we got up to. To do, incantation vexation. The Farsia needs paper for some reason. Uh, did we already make... The paper press. I think that's something we needed to do in this shed. You know, I don't think I've been in here since your grandpa died. Sorry, I was just looking around like you said. I didn't mean to pry. No, no, it's fine. 
I just wasn't as good with my hands as he was. He gave most of his tools to Thomas, since I knew he'd put them to good use. You know, if we want to get this place up and running, though, we'll need to put in the work here, too. We always made a whole lot more money from his crafts than just the farm produce alone. If you ever want to try your hand at it, I kept the blueprints... It's almost like we're going to have to start right building here. things. Thanks, Grandma. Not sure if I'm a handy Tara, but I'll try for us. Okay, so do we... Ah, uh, yes. Ooh, candle maker. Interesting. Right, paper press. We have all the things. What does that mean? Oh, oh, I'm putting it down. Is that it? Are these just things that I can place? Oh no, no, they are things that we're building. Right, okay, so we've got a paper press. What do we need to make paper? We've already got things to make paper. How many sheets did we need? Two! Okay, so we're ready to go back this evening to give that to the fire... Far fire seer? Far seer. Um, we need to... Oh, we've already got potatoes planted, I think, so we need to wait until they are ready to harvest. Uh, rice and shine. Buy rice, collect mushrooms. Make grandma's favourite dish. Plotting something. Where have you been? So we need to make a compost bin. Was that something we could do over here? No, or at least not right now. So let's go have a look over here. These, oh, they need watering. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, no. It's wilted. I didn't water it, so do I have to get rid of it? Oh, that's not ideal. Yikes. Okay, so I'm going to have to get some more potato seeds from somewhere. Potatoes will take a while to grow. Keep watering them. Okay, that's not what I wanted to hear. Right, I'm going to go down into town uh, and see if I can buy... I mean, I need rice anyway, but see if I can get potato. I want to say potato seeds, but potatoes don't come in seeds, right? Are they like bulbs? Ooh. Hi. You know, you don't see many blacksmiths these days. Yeah, I know. Well, my great-grandpa was a blacksmith, so I guess you could say it runs in the family. Of course, he died before I was born, but it's his hammer I've got. That's really cool. So your family taught you? Oh, nah, I'm self-taught. A city export like yourself. It's harder work than sitting at a desk, but it's more rewarding. You'll come to love it here. I'll see. That feels like she was manifested for me. At exactly the right time since we're gonna have to clearly start doing a little bit of DIY and it will be self-taught right where am I gonna get what does this say butcher and deli Friday to Sunday closed they are the weirdest hours in this town the weirdest this is the grocery shop let's see what I can buy from here hi I'm still well take your time some of the oh oh no that's eggs Oh, that's potato seeds. Right. We'll buy one of those. Although I, I need another planter thing. How do I make that? I don't know. I'm going to look for a hint of that in a second. Uh, right, I want some rice. Rice, rice, rice. Does she sell rice? Maybe she's... Oh, there it is. I was going to say maybe she sells different things every day, but there she has rice. Is there anything else that I need while I'm here? Right, we can do that now. Um, this, let's show the hint. Use the con oh, use the construction table next to the garden. You see, I forgot that that existed. That is the problem from taking a minute off a game. I recently got the Hogwarts Legacy game and similarly to this, we decided that we wanted to play it together, like a family game. So we did the little tutorial and I haven't played any of the actual game yet because we played that like at Christmas. 
Uh, and I don't know about you, but it's kind of difficult to get everyone in the family to decide they want to play a video game at the same time. So by the time I come to actually play this a game, a game, by the time I come to play the game again, I'm going to have to start from the beginning because I can't remember how to do anything. Right, compost bin, here we go. Uh, so, I don't know where, I'll put that there. But we need more garden beds too. I'm guessing we need, uh, we need soil. And it's that way you get soil from the compost bin. I see. Okay, so we need some more weeds. Let's hop around and see if we can find some more weeds hanging around. I'm excited to get into this game actually because although this is our second run at it, or third, is it the third episode? Um, I feel like there's so much to do. I feel like there's absolutely tons of it. And unlike other games, the reason that I decided to play this on camera is I really feel... Oh, I wasn't going to do that, but sure. Um, I really feel like I would be missing something in playing this just like watching TV, playing the game as I play all other games, just kind of like mindlessly, uh, because it's voice acted. And I think such a large portion of this game is about like the feeling and the music and the characters that you get to know because it's fully voice acted. And I'll just kind of be missing out on such a huge part of that if, if I play it like I play everything else. So... I don't know whether or not this is even interesting to watch, to be fair, but it does give me a good excuse to play a game with the sound on. How long does it take to make soil? Oh, I thought I said four days for a second. No, not the green beans. I want to look at the soil. Oh my god! That's forever! Right, can we have two compost bins going on at the same time? Yes. Yes, please! Can I put them all the way over here? Oh no, they need to be on there. Okay, okay. Maybe it could like, can we double them up? Possibly at some point, but maybe not right now. Let's get two things going on. What's this one? I don't know what that is. Secrets, probably clay. Right, so we can make the rice dish right now. Apologies, my brother turned up with my niece, uh, so I literally went downstairs uh, because someone was delivering a parcel and he was behind them. So I had to come upstairs, turn all of this off, and then I had to do the school run. You know, life gets in the way. This is why it's been so long since I filmed something for this channel, because, you know, every time I sit down to do it, something gets in the way. I did get a McDonald's though while I was out, so... There's that. Is that a mushroom I can pick up? Ooh, it is. What are you doing out here so late? Mom might try to overload you with food. Okay, okay. Oh, it's the cat. The cat who I am absolutely convinced has got more going on than meets the eye. We've got the same eyes. I don't know. I think that cat's grandma, to be honest. Wait, did she just disappear? Oh, no, she's still there. She disappeared behind my head. The altar is where we perform important rituals, like turning the season. C Can't I give you this? Are you a separate person when we're here? Okay, fine. Uh, right, so we need to give... Is he this the farseer? The paper. Great, just what we need. Hang on to those and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. Incantations are spells read aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. Oh. Whoa, what do okay. I need to do? So I we're going to do our first spell, I feel like. Wait, what? Ah, oh, just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. You must catch me some squid. I've had a hankering for calamari for days now. I thought you were teaching me to do these powerful spells. I am the best way I know how. Pay attention. Go get me those squid. Okay, so we're going to need the ink from the squid. I'm sorry, what? Like, you've got great vision. Right. 
Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else that we need. Oh, Granny. We can talk to you Granny You did now. a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch. But actually, writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Yes, I gathered that I have a lot to gather. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring to um. charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron right by the circle? Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. Oh, no. No, no. The coven cauldron is where we leave offerings for the wellspring. The source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a coven is to maintain the wellspring. We cannot draw more energy from it than we put in. I wrote the incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves. But to craft your initiation incantation, you'll need your own. Go on and offer something to the wellspring. Over time, you will learn that it likes some offerings more than others. Try different things and see what happens. You'll have to excuse me because I've got a really horrible neck back situation and that was really uncomfortable. Right, I've got my like got a heat pad situation going on back there. Right, so we're going to offer something to the wellspring. It did say that we can't take from it more than we give so i wonder if that's going to be something that we need to keep an eye on like if they're going to be some kind of like uh what's the word i'm looking for like measure i don't know so i'm just going to give it what i've got the most of whoa so now i can cast spells cool careful we must never draw more magic from the wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. What happens if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is all of our responsibility to maintain the cauldron. And we've never failed in my lifetime. Just remember to leave offerings regularly. Okay. I will. So maybe we don't have to worry quite so much about that. Um, can we can we give it something else straight away? Let's, let's try. Let's give it a thistle. See what happens. Anything different? Um, no. Okay. Right. So we need to go and fish for some squids. I'm guessing when we get back now, it's going to be time for bed anyway. Oh, I can give her the thing. Here you go, Grandma. Here's your mushroom risotto. Oh, thank you, honeybee. It smells wonderful. But you made enough for yourself, I hope. Excellent. That's another task down. I really love that she like gets out of bed every morning. Wearing not only those boots, but a leather jacket. Right, so we've got to go to the beach. Ooh, first, first, first. No, that's the button. Let's make sure that we've watered these plants because we've already ruined some. Also, is the soil ready yet? Oh, not quite apparently. How many hours till the soil is ready? Can we find out? Eight hours. So long. I'm just going to quickly run around and make up all these things because we're going to need to keep making soil. Oh, I should also be using up all my energy every day, shouldn't I? That was stupid of me. I wasted so much of it yesterday. Okay, I have absolutely no memory of fishing. Did we already do this? How do I use tools? Hmm. It's in my bag, B. Huh. How do you... Oh. <laughs> I took a picture. This is like my mum trying to play a game. Well, I don't think I've got a fishing rod. If I just go up to the water and like... Right, I don't think I've got a fishing rod. Do I have to make one or can I buy one from the guy who's definitely the farseer? Let's go and see if his little shop is open. Your grandma was always good luck on a boat back in the day. She had a heron's eye for spotting fish. But 
How can you see fish if they're underwater? <laughs> she hasn't taught you much, has she? Uh, um, potatoes? Here, take this rod. <laughs> potatoes! And we already Keep ruined the potatoes! Near water for the Ooh, he just gave me a fishing fish. rod! When you see him, the trick is to get one of them to nibble on your hook instead of the bait fish they're chasing. How do I do that? You'll need some bait. Here are some worms. Now, you're not the squeamish type, are you? You gotta hook your bait and cast your line. You'll feel when you got one, and then reel it in. Wait, 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 back up. <laughs> okay. Just... Let's go and figure this out. Oh, okay, there's a little area. Aha! Not so difficult after all. A dab! Oh, I have to have bait. Okay. Back to Bruno. Oh, we pick up these things as well. Back to Bruno for more bait before we can try and catch a squid. Wonderful. You got the look of a lifelong angler in your eyes now. <laughs> oh, now here's a real challenge. Catching a certain fish is about the right bait, the right place, and luck. I got a hankering for some nice, fresh striped sea bass. They're ocean fish, so you gotta go to the beach. They might go for a worm, but you'll have better luck with this. In the future, you can keep bait fish you catch to try and hook bigger and more valuable fish. Come back when you caught one. Okay. Can if you I can't also... find me a well and could I buy some fish? If you're not seeing it. I don't want to buy some fish, I wanna buy some bait. Ooh, here we go. Okay, let's buy. I haven't got a lot of money, but I feel like this is where I want to spend it. So I'm leaving it because there's multiple fish around there. And I think you can leave it until the big one that you want bites. Ah! I don't have any bait. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should visit uh, so Bruno's out shop? of bait, Bruno's shop's going to be closed. Bait. Maybe so I should I visit think Bruno's shop? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and chop down some trees and go to bed. That's like a good idea. Just for life, isn't it? Oh, the soil's ready. Can we make some more soil while we're here? Yes. Do we have enough for another? Yes, we do. Let's get it going. Oh, can we? Are we pushing it? Let's make... Oh, I haven't got any money. Okay. Okay. We will sell those fish tomorrow. It'll be a problem of the past. After all our fishing. Hmm, it's Sunday. I don't know who's going to be open on a Sunday, shop-wise, but hopefully Bruno's little fish stall is available. It just occurred to me, I wonder, as we play the game, whether or not we will have like a potion that I can make that makes me go faster. I wonder if that's a thing. Uh, Sunday closed! No. No, Bruno. Why? Why would you do that to me? Um, where else can I sell? Oh, after what I just said. I mean, I actually didn't have enough money to do that anyway, but how annoying. Right. Let's see. What have we got? Uh, catch a squid for Frasia. We can't do at all. Um, can't do that. Although maybe if I see Bruno randomly, but I don't know where he would be. Maybe we need to find Bruno. Maybe that's the situation. I don't think that I can sell anything else anywhere else. Let's see. Is this open? I'll have to close on a Sunday. I could sell the apple pie. Amazing. Okay. Crisis averted. Let's go and make those garden beds. Don't pack the soil too tight now. You'll choke Ooh. the seedlings. Oh, We've got a visit. Hello, Thomas. I didn't hear you. That's because I don't wear big, clumpy boots like you city folk. Anyway... Rude. <clears throat> not a bad effort for your first plot. Wow, you give compliments? Don't make me regret bringing these for you. <laughs> Thank you. But what's the occasion? Hazel's a good woman. Strong. But you don't need me to tell you she's struggling. So when I saw you out helping with the garden beds... Well... She's not the only one who appreciates it. I'll do my best with these seeds. Well, we already love Thomas. <gasps> it's the cat! Oh, hey there, kitty. Do you belong with my grandma? 
slash Agi, my grandma. Oh, you're a good kitty. Have we ever seen her grandma, and the grandma in the same room at the same time? Cat. The last cat I had was old Shadow, rest his soul. He wasn't much to look at, but he was a darn good mouser. This cat isn't yours? She seems awfully familiar with your garden. Oh no, I don't own that cat. What a notion. She's a good friend to have around though, so play nice. Okay, I'm going to plant potatoes because we are way behind on this potato situation. And the carrot seeds that Thomas just delivered. What to do? Make sure everything's watered. Let's see what we've still got to do. Let's see if we can go. Oh, look who it is. See if we can go and find the old fisherman so we can finish that sea quest off. Or the sea fish quest off. Come on, as if this is not open on a Sunday. What? That's crazy. Right, well, where is he? Where would he be? If you were an old fisherman, where would you be? Oh, it's Sunday. Would he be at church? Some people are to see you again hi have you seen the notice board in front of town hall okay the mayor's wife i want to say she was called tara said to look at the notice board outside of the town hall which way is the town hall oh this is stuff people need okay good to know is this open everything's closed on a sunday it's real sleepy town since i don't get the impression that anything has like a this must be done at this time kind of limit. I'm just going to run around, kind of do my little bit of foraging, pick up anything that is available to be picked up. And uh, yeah, call it a day. Right, I've collected more soil, which means I can make more garden beds. I think I'm going to make a couple more. Ooh, have I not got enough wood? I haven't got enough wood, but so close. Collect these. These are very important for the soil situation. I wonder if at some point we'll be able to expand past this little patch. Cause it's not very big, is it? Is it not? Is it telling me I've got ten out of fifteen? Is that what it's saying? No, I've got fifteen. So what's what's the problem? Do I not have enough money? Oh, I don't have enough money. That's fine. Listen, we've all been there. Um, I'm gonna plant something here. We only had one set of seeds anyway, so no bother. Uh, and then, is it back to Granny for this task? I think it might be. Where's she gone? Oh, there she is. Grandma, the garden beds are ready. Oh, I can't thank you enough for helping me like this. I found some seeds in the bottom of a drawer you might like to plant. Otherwise, there's more variety down at Lena's store. Mm -hmm. <sighs> These people, people barely work in this town. town. I feel like I'm missing something, though. I feel like there's something I should be doing. Like something I should be collecting, or maybe there's something I could have built. Ooh, look who it is! I think Lena's kids must have messed with the doors of the schoolhouse. She oh, would you look at that beauty? What would you like for your prize? I would like a shower. <laughs> nah, smelling like cut bait is part of the life. You'll get used to it. Speak of the bait. Here's some more. Finally! Three different kinds of bait. Give them all a try. They'll catch different fish in different water. Happy angling! Hey, okay, how much bait do I have? What did he actually give me? Ooh, okay, I think we're good. I think we're set. Oh, what do I have to collect there? I would love to fish with you, Bruno, but I need to get back to the beach because we still need to get the squid. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a squid! It's a flipping miracle. It definitely looks like a lobster. They've got a weird way of showing a squid but it's a squid i'm gonna go back to the woodland area because i can give the squid to the farseer at night time but while i'm waiting for it to be night time 
I'm going to go and fish a little bit where Bruno was. Because, you know, Bruno and the Far Sea are definitely not the same person. What have we got? A char. That is an unusual one. It's 10.30, it's not worth uh, potentially running this too late, so I'm gonna go and see the spooky guys through the tree tunnel. Oh, these moonflowers, we need to get those. Need to collect them while they're there because they are usually not. Now, you'll need a desk set it up in your sanctum. Okay, so we were right. The ink is what he needed, and now I need to make a desk. There's a couple more things you'll need. I know, I know, I'm going home. Is it cornbread? How are you finding the town now that you've met everyone? I know we're a bit different than the folks you might have known back in the city. That's a good thing, actually. I needed to say goodbye to all of that. For now, at least. You haven't said much about your fiancé. Do oh. you want to talk about what happened with... I'm sorry, I have such a bad memory for names these days. Oh, interesting. Let's go with Sam. Sam, there really isn't much to say. I woke up one day with a note next to my pillow saying that we were over. We haven't spoken since. <laughs> what a coward. Grandma. I'm sorry, but it's true. My view is too many folks take the easy way out these days. You deserved better than that, Terra. Thank you, Grandma. On this island, when folks want to break up, they'll tell you to your face. It's a bit of a convoluted tradition, actually, but... Well, we're putting the cart before the horse, aren't we? And maybe it's time for you to get back on the horse. Anyone caught your eye there? I'm not sure I'm ready to date This again, is Grandma. not the way I thought Come this now. was gonna go. Conversation with the grandma was. Chores. You've gotta live a little. Really? I'm happy just to make new friends. For now. Fine, fine. Suit yourself. But if you really want to make new friends, a little generosity never hurts. Here, take this and give it to Thomas. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> okay. It is cornbread. It is cornbread. Okay. It would be good to do that at the same time as giving him the green beans. I don't know when, how far away we are from them being a viable thing. Yeah, one day. Oh! <gasps> green beans! Why are the other ones ready in a day? Didn't I plant them at the same time? Hmm. How strange. Right, now I need to go and see about making myself a writing desk. That's not on this list. Oh, I'll bet I need to do it in the basement. Yes. Ooh, there's some interesting looking stuff that we need. Uh, okay, I need, need more wood. Oh, it's the same as before. I had enough wood, I don't have any money. <sighs> okay, finally. I'll go and um, sell those fish that I caught. Hey Bruno, ooh, can we give him gifts? Give him a gift. Oh, I've got to give him that. I'm going to give him some cream and mushroom soup. We came out of his little thing for a present. I mean, that was Thanks really well presented, to be me. fair. Okay, okay. That helped our friendship. I Excellent. Sure wish I remember how. Now let's get on with this whole selling the fish thing. We sell all of them. Oh, that's quite a lot of money. That's quite a lot of money. Um, we'll sell these ones as well. And then we'll save the other ones. You just never know. We'll have like a little bit of a fish investment situation going on. Uh, right, let's go back and make this desk. And then, although I'm not going to wind up the episode because I feel like we've not done enough, I am going to take a break because, like I said earlier, Life gets in the way. If it were up to me, I would sit and play this game all day long. But I got, you know, commitments. 
in my life. I've got things I need to be doing. Dinner to make. Excellent. Let's put it in that weird place. That'll, that'll do it for me. How do I make ink? Oh, what a stupid question. There it is immediately. Uh, now what? Tell the farcier you built a desk. <sighs> There's a lot of back and forth. Let me just get on with it. Okay, fine. Fine. What can I, can I, can I do? Ooh. Boost harvest potion. What a stupid thing. How long does it take? What a stupid thing that whole time I should have made that. Of course, she even told me. If you've got the means to give him a boost, it certainly wouldn't hurt. In not so many words, she basically said, make a boost harvest potion for your green beans, didn't she? How does it take someone three days to film one play with me? Right, where were we? I'll tell you the worst thing was I, and I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm glad I did it now. I edited this video so far because my mic kept echoing. I don't know what is going on. The world is against me. Does not want me to film these videos. Oh, we've still got a day left to make green beans. Am I, am I like, did I lose some progress? I don't know. What have we still got to do? I think... I was on my way to deliver something. Yep, yep, yep. Right, we need to go and tell him that we've built a desk. He's only 1.40 in the afternoon, so I don't know if he's gonna be quite ready for that information yet. Have a little chat with people while it's daytime and I'm out in the town. Something's not right. Oh, it was downloading um, the update in the background. I'm gonna just stop this and start again. I think we were on some kind of weird delay. Let's see now if we go and chat with someone else if they'll actually talk to us in real time it's so like cool of you go. to come hang with hazel when i first took over my stall from the last owner hazel came and bought chocolate every day hey have you tried kim's butcher shop there was nowhere on the island to get good bacon Ooh, we got a full blue heart with sophia this is my love interest i think you seem very cosmopolitan uh, amira or or, or Dr. This is just oh, fine. Gosh. Amira is fine. I do think we need to make friends with this like pasta guy. Because I think he's going oh, to have some secrets. You, have you met Parker the carpenter yet? He really helped turn the ruins of the old church into a wonderful new consciousness center for our members. Have you been to the Violet's flower shop yet? Oh, Granny's on the move. Did you give that cornbread to Thomas? No, oh, I'm going to give it him when I give him well, the green beans. Dilly -dally. Okay, she's on the way, so... Oh, it's 5.30 already. Man, time flies. Someone told me yesterday that you can play this at different difficulties because it's been a minute since I set up the game. I don't know what I chose, but apparently you can choose to have uh, a faster paced day. Uh, let's go and chit chat with the cat. Who's never in the same room as Grammy. Um, hey there, kid. Yeah, and apparently you can change it throughout the gameplay. So I might have like have a go at that in a second. Sometimes I do feel like the game is going a little bit too slow. Uh, like the days are going a little bit too slow. But then you can go to bed whenever you want. I suppose it's because I'm not doing a lot of uh, socialising. If I was doing more socialising, then that would kind of take up more of my day like it did today. All right. I think I've walked you through the tricky bits. This here will explain the extra bits you need. Once you have them, go and write it at your newly made desk. Technically, this isn't an incantation. This is just a piece of paper with some mumbo jumbo on it. Well, then what's the difference? When you go home and write this on your freshly pressed paper, hold the offering in your other hand. That's your thistle. You must concentrate on every word as you write it. You'll know it's working if, as you finish, the offering has vanished and you feel some of your magic is drained away. Then, the page you've created will be an incantation. You should take it to the High Priestess when it's ready. What does this incantation do? That's not for me to discuss. Okay, so now I'm wondering whether or not we're going to get like another bar is the purple is that did we have that purple bar before is that like a magic bar i'm thinking we're gonna get a bar of magic so that we'll see that drain away and i wonder if that's how we're going to be measuring whether or not we're leaving enough offerings uh in the cauldron because it can't mean nothing they can't say you need to keep leaving offerings but like just aimlessly there must be some way of measuring whether or not you're leaving enough offerings to 
keep it level. One child left behind. Juliet. I do love that flower shop. I love everything about this. The way, like the art style of this, I absolutely love. Um, it feels like a, t a like a kid's TV show. You know, like Handy Money. That's, you know, for those who remember. Um, Handy Money, it's that total, like you've been able to like pop yourself into the Handy Money town. Okay, none of these things need anything doing apparently. Oh, can I make some soil? We can. What was I messing about with? Could have been making that soil all day. Go to my strangely placed writing desk. Let's give this a go. That was not what I expected that to be. I really thought we might get a bit of a cutscene for the first one. Right, I wasn't paying attention. Did the little purple bar change? I'll pick that up while we're here. Can I make another one? May as well always be making something. Tell the Farsi you created the initiation, right? Ugh, the back and forth. At some point, am I gonna be able to just be able to poof myself to the other end of town? Cause it takes forever to get there. This is the slowest run in the world. Oh, 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 Good job! You made your first incantation. Usually you can just cast your incantations any time you please. But for this one, you'll need the whole coven. Now take this over to the High Priestess. She'll tell you what to do. Ooh, okay, maybe this will be our cutscene. I want, like, a bit of a... a bit of flair for the first spell we're gonna cast. Is this the High Priestess? Because she's off on her own. Ooh. Have you the incantation for the initiation right? Yes. yes! It's ready. Good. Initiate Tara, give the incantation to Elder Hazel. She must be the one to cast it. Here's the initiation incantation, Grandma. Honeybee, before we get started, I have a gift for you. This has been in our family for generations. If it's not a wand. And it is our custom to pass it on at the time of initiation. Go ahead. Try them on. <gasps> Robes! That's awesome! Oh, also, the mask looks like, like Slytherin. You, they fit you beautifully. Oh, I feel... Taller. <laughs> yeah. That was done during my Aunt Vivian's time. She was a bit on the short side and wanted to appear more regal. So she spelled the robes. Then the other witches got jealous and we might be magical, but we're still human. Elder Hazel, Initiate Terra, take your places for the right. Initiate, you seek new knowledge. But with it comes a sacred duty. Who brings forth this initiate to join our coven? I do. As the great wheel turns, so must we take our part. Here where our ancestors <laughs> like days of our lives. And where others will follow. Enter our circle. For this is the hour. A fair haven witch comes into her power. Return tomorrow and we will continue your training. You're a witch, Tara! You're a witch! Well, we can make new incantations. Okay, hurry now because just get a move on. Soon as I'm done, as soon as I'm home, I'm Googling whether or not we can run in this game because this is like. It's actually a little bit painful. Ah uh ha -huh. What did I say earlier? There was going to be some kind of potion. This, someone's asked the question in Reddit and someone said, um, there's going to be a potion. And also, I mean, no spoilers, but another mode of transport. Okay, that is going to be it. Days in the making, but we're finally a witch. Exciting. This is one of the best games I've played in ages for story that is real, like, still gameplay. Um, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm going to continue the series now that I'm not completely taken up with 
Animal Crossing. Um, and now it's a new season and a new year and I think it's the 1st of February as I'm actually posting this in the end. Uh, but yeah, thank you for joining me. If you haven't already and you've managed to get to this point in the video, subscribe because you must be my people. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.